Well, Guy on TV is crazy. Guy on TV is crazy. Makes no sense to me. I mean, he's on TV, but he doesn't seem to be really sane. I can never be over here, says Fran Maniacs. Anyway, welcome to a very special Bam and Man review. This is the very first album review that I'll be doing. What album you may be asking yourself? Well, for a very, very funny internet reviewer and comedy musician extraordinaire, Mr. Tony Goldmark's Goldmark After a Dark. So I think it's pretty handy that I'm actually doing this review after dark. <laughs> Tony Goldmark. What can be said about him? He has been active in comedy music for several years. He runs a very, very funny review show called Some Jerk with Camera, where he reviews theme parks, theme park attractions from Disneyland, Disney World, Universal, all from his own very warped brain and clever writing skills. I think his show may even be better than my personal favorite web series, Nostalgia Critic. Now, as for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel, uh, I've actually uploaded uh, two songs, actually a few of the songs from the CD. I uploaded The Guy on TV Is Not Happy and Movie in a Movie, which is the club theme from an upcoming internet film called All Critics Must Die, which I don't know is if it's still going to be released yet or not, but either way, it's still a good song. So you may be wondering why I should tell you about this album. Well, it's because this is a really good comedy album. Again, like my movie pilot logo, it's simple as that. It is an incredibly well-made comedy album. The songs on here are just really well sung, really well instrumented, and really clever. Granted, I don't listen to a lot of comedy music, so I don't know how his stacks up to the likes of Weird Al, which is actually one of Tony's idols, who's actually made an appearance on his show, Some Dark with the Camera, quite a few times. But it's still a really well-made album, and I love the songs. Everyone Else is probably one of my favorites. It's all everyone else's fault. And I could go on and on about every single song on this album, but I just wanted to make this review short and sweet and say that Goldmark After Dark is a really, really good comedy album, and I highly suggest it to anyone who's a fan of comedy, who's a fan of clever music, and who's also a fan of, well, just wanting a good laugh. And, granted, if you're really interested in clean comedy music, there's a few um, off-kilter <laughs> lyrics uh, for those who are, who are more of a clean comedy music fan. But most of the music on here is relatively clean for those with oh, warped brains like like Tony. Um, anyway, bottom line, I highly suggest Goldmark After Dark for anyone's comedy music collection or just music collection in general. And I know this is probably not a very good review and that I should probably just stick to movie reviews, but I just had to recommend this to you guys because it's I think you may be pleasantly surprised by this album. So, anyway, Goldmark After Dark um, is awesome. And I just think that you should give it a listen if you want. I don't know why I'm stalling them. Again, I'm sorry, I'm incredibly awkward. I'm just getting started with this review thing, guys, so I, I promise the reviews will be more well constructed than the 
first three that I've done so far. So, yeah, keep in tune with me for more Baby Man reviews, and keep in tune for more future Nostalgia Critic videos, and, uh, and if, if Tony will let me, maybe I'll upload uh, one more song from the album. I, from Goldmark After Dark, I'm not entirely sure if he'll let me, but, you know, you never know. So, again, Again, Tony's show, Southern Jerk with Camera, is on Blip, Geek Vision, Channel Awesome. And I will leave a link to those in the description below. Uh, if you have any more requests for any future Bambi Man reviews, just leave them in the comments below. And be sure to click that uh, little subscribe button uh, if you want to see more reviews. And, uh, give me some uh, well-constructed criticism, because I'm sure that not a lot of people are a fan of the series and they're just here for the that's critic upload and stuff, but I promise these reviews will be much more constructed than the first three Bam Bam reviews, so... Yeah, I think that's about it. And with that being said... Hey, buddy, won't you let me review some more movies? I want more movies to review.